Hey guys, Ivan here and this video we're gonna start with a Hunter Labrada update. 4th place finisher at the Mr. Olympia hasn't really been very active on social media lately. Hunter is actually known for posting all mandatory poses like every week, you know, he was very consistent with that. But ever since the Mr. Olympia he went AWOL, we couldn't find him anywhere, he barely posted anything. And guys, top 4 at the Mr. Olympia, that's very close like to the first spot, I mean, no, I don't think he's close to Big Ramy, to beating Big Ramy or Brandon Curry, but you know, 4th place at the Mr. Olympia, he should be more active, I would prefer to see him more active, but he still is more active than the Mr. Olympia himself, Big Ramy, right? So he hasn't really been posting a lot, but here's an explanation to why this happened, so he actually basically took some time off. Which is smart, for sure, for his longevity, for his health. And he says that uh, five days ago, he started his off-season. And he's treating it like he's in a prep. He's eating six meals a day. And we're gonna check out what are those six meals consistent of. Because that's very interesting to me as well. And he says that he is 264 uh, right now fasted. And he has been on TRT for the last 12 weeks. And uh, last three weeks, he was completely out of the gym, so he hasn't been working out. And if you consider all that, that he wasn't super focused on his off-season, that he was just taking some time off, and that he was on TRT, you know, just low dose of testosterone, not even blasting gear, and also that he hasn't been training for three weeks prior to starting this off-season for five days, he looks amazing, right? But he doesn't look as good as he looked back in the offseason last year. So you can definitely see it, especially in his chest, in that side chest pose. You can see that the left pack is just flattened out, and the right one as well. I mean, his pecs are definitely much flatter. You can also see his biceps, um, uh, the arms overall. Like, they are still really, really good. No doubt about that. But they used to be freakier. I mean, again, this guy beats Nick Walker on the Olympia stage, and who is looking better right now, <laughs> I mean, Nick Walker is far, far better right now, because he probably didn't even go off the gear after Mr. Olympia, he, he started growing like crazy, and Hunter did exactly the opposite, he took time off, which, again, is definitely healthier option, but you also need to consider that Hunter is in his 30s, while Nick is only like 27, so there's an age gap, and uh, Hunter has been doing this for a long time, so I'm sure his body is just worn out a little bit more than Nick's, and that's why he needs to take the time off. Which is definitely smart, I mean, a lot of bodybuilders who had the long careers did that, like Dexter Jackson, who we're gonna talk about as well in this video. But now let's check out what this 4th place Olympia finisher eats, what is his diet. So, right there in the bottom right corner, you can see his macros. And this is interesting as well, I mean, 300 grams of protein, 640 grams of carbs, and 80 fats. That's not a lot of food for a guy of his size. Yeah, I know, he just started his off-season, but still I would expect him to eat more. I mean, the, the, the rate that he's growing at, with only this little food... This is about as much as I eat right now, and uh, I'm surprised because I'm way smaller than Hunter, so I'm guessing, you know, genetics are definitely playing a big part here, so these guys, some of them freaks, they don't really have to eat that much to grow, they utilize food better than some of us who are not that genetically blessed, obviously, and also another thing, as you can see, I highlighted in, in yellow right there, uh, out of six meals, four meals are... Wait, there are not even meals, they are shakes. So, in all of his meals, only two times a day, as you can see, I, 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 I underlined it with a red pen right there, only two meals are meat. That's chicken breast and beef, ground beef, and that's only 200 grams per meal. That's insane. Only two meals are meat. Everything else, every other source of protein for him is whey way isolate wow i mean how the hell is this guy growing this rapidly by not even eating food just drinking shakes yeah it just tells you what 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 genetics for bodybuilding are what good genetics are looking like i mean this is it yeah i know he's training hard and he's using gear whatever but look at look at his diet like who is eating like this so this either means that the protein is basically the same as food whey protein powders 
or that Hunter has insane genetics, which I think is the case. The latter is probably what is going on here. So yeah, this is his diet. It's, it's crazy, I know. But again, he's not as big as he used to be in the offseason, so probably as he grows, he's gonna introduce more food. But as for now, he's doing this and he looks uh, like this. So again, a little bit smaller version of himself, but he took some time off, which is definitely gonna be a good thing for his longevity. As I have mentioned before, Dexter Jackson is one of those guys who took some time off after the big shows like Mr. Olympia. Isn't it funny when these guys drop their phones when they start doing these presses? It always happens. Anyways, uh, Dexter, uh, he, he probably took some time off after he decided to retire, after his last Mr. Olympia, because I think he got a little bit bigger and fuller now than he looked uh, not so long ago. Maybe, maybe it's just him, you know, his body catching up, you know, maybe uh, initial, initially it was stressful for his body to, to, to adapt to not eating a lot and not using a lot of gear, but after a while it caught up and he, ca he kept training and he slowly got bigger, but maybe he just felt like, well, screw this, I'm gonna start blasting again. I don't know, I don't know if he's actually bigger here, but I just, I got that impression, he does look a little bit fuller, a little bit sharper, harder, I might be wrong, you guys tell me what you think, but that was just my first impression, I thought he has gotten a little bit better, uh, this is the photo from 5 weeks ago, where he looked, you know, to be honest, quite small, right, the legs, the arms, the chest, like the shoulder, trap, neck area, he just looked smaller, like way downsized version of himself. And a lot of people actually talked about it. So it's not just me who noticed it. But uh, now, I don't know, it's just my impression. I think he has gotten a little bit better, fuller, bigger. I mean, he's nowhere near the size that he had before, of course. He's retired, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that he should be looking like this right now, of course. I mean, this is this was just insane. Look at the delts how much they're popping, look, look at the roundness of the forearms, of the arms, wow, he was just, he was really good back in the day, but now, I mean, for a retired 52-year-old bodybuilder, he looks amazing, he looks awesome, and I think he looks better than he looked five weeks ago, what do you guys think, do you think he improved, do you see, like, I think his arms are looking bigger, fuller, in overall, his entire frame looks a little bit more filled up, Maybe he started eating more, maybe he realized that he doesn't like the way he looks downsized and he decided to, you know, bump his uh, TRT up a little bit. Maybe he had some Primo left from when, back when he was competing and he thought it wouldn't hurt too much if he added 300 milligrams a week of that uh, on top of his uh, 250 milligrams of testosterone. <laughs> I'm, just, <laughs> I'm just guessing here, I don't know what the hell he's doing. He's probably just eating more and training harder, I don't know, whatever. But I think he does look a little bit bigger and fuller. What do you guys think? Alright, next we have somebody who is probably flying under most of our radars. And this is Samson Dauda. Yeah, we know, he won a show, uh, one of the post-Olympia shows last year. But is he like a potential <laughs> Arnold Classic threat? Look at this guy! Look at this guy, look at how much... How impressive this looks. I think he's being uh, underestimated because, yeah, I know he never really brought that conditioning to a super, super high level, but this guy has everything he needs to have. He has an amazing structure. It's insane how good, how genetically blessed he is. Tiny small waist, tiny small joints, uh, limb dominant. He doesn't lag back or chest or legs. He has it all. And right now, it seems like he is working on that conditioning really freaking hard. Look at his, look at his veins and everything. I mean, does he is trained by Milos Arch. And does he look anything like Regan Grimes? Hell no, I think he looks much better, at least here. Yeah, I learned that Regan was uh, sick for a while, he wasn't training, but still, I mean, look at the shreds, look at the cuts on his chest right here, and all the vascularity throughout the shoulders and arms and forearms. Like, this guy is bringing it, it seems like he's, he's gonna be one of the top threats at this Arnold Classic, and yeah, he's doing it, so he might crack the top three, you know, the way he looks right now, I don't know, we'll see, I mean, there is still four weeks to go, so maybe some of the other guys catch up, maybe he's too conditioned too soon, I don't know, I don't know, based on what I'm seeing right now from all the competitors, it seems like this guy might be like the runner-up. Because he is actually that good and he's uh, very classic. Look at this, 
Look at the structure, look at how beautiful his lines are, and that's something that is very important at the Arnold Classic, right? Doesn't he remind you of somebody? Maybe Flex Wheeler, right? I mean, look at this guy. An amazing structure, truly. Crazy symmetry, crazy balance. Uh, what he needs is like a little bit more size, actually, like throughout uh, the upper body. Legs are good enough, I believe, but like, like the upper body, like the arms and chest and back, it could just use a little bit more mass, like maybe 10 pounds. If he had 10 pounds and if he really, really nailed the conditioning, if he came like shredded, shredded, like he could be one of the top guys right now. I don't really see him being like a top six Olympian or anything, no, no, but he has the potential, you can see right here when he does the front double bicep that he needs more muscle, right here as well, like in the arms, in the chest, in the lats, everywhere, not the legs, legs are good enough, but it's not like he's lacking anything genetically, it's just more time, a little bit more time, maybe a year or two, I, I think he needs a good off season, one good off season, really good off season, and he can be right there, in the top of the Mr. Olympia. Why not? Why the hell not? Tell me why not? Why? What is he lacking? Pretty much nothing. What he needs is more time. And as far as this Arnold Classic, the way he's looking right now, I think he might surprise us all. I'm sure you guys noticed, but whenever somebody is talking about somebody's potential at this Arnold Classic, they're they're always saying we are always saying that his best possible placement can be second, the runner-up position, because Brandon Curry is doing it. Now, there were some speculations that some bodybuilders like might even beat Brandon Curry, but here's a reminder. <laughs> His coach, Abdullah, posted this video. I don't know if this is recent or not. It's probably not, but might be. He didn't specify it. But what this is, is a great reminder to all of us who Brandon Curry actually is. Look at this guy. Look at his physique. Like, this is not gonna be beatable at this Arnold Classic. I mean, we all pretty much knew it, but this kind of, you know, settles it. Look at his back. Look at this back double bicep. Look at the size of those arms compared to the waist. Look at the completeness of the back. And just the entire physique, it just flows so well. I mean, this is just so freaking impressive that it doesn't matter if this is recent or not. That's not the point. It could be recent, it's probably not. But it does tell us something, this is Brandon Curry and nobody is beating him at this Arnold Classic. I, I said that Brad Wilkin might do it, but I take it back right now. Four weeks out, I definitely have to take it back after watching this video. I mean, because this is definitely going to be the winner of the Arnold Classic. This is looking just insane. Who in this lineup is looking like this? Nobody is getting even close to this freaking madness right here. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this video, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, and for more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much guys for watching, all the best, and bye bye.